We have three exciting new updates that I'm going to share with you. The first is Facebook call ads. So how Facebook call ads work is that it's click to call. We already have Google call ads in here. So if they tap the ad, typically in the past, they'd go to your website or to a lead form. These are straight click to call. So how Facebook call ads work is that you add your prompt like you normally would right here. We'll do all the targeting recommendations, all your creative and everything right here. Uh, all you have to do is just add your phone number. So you could choose any country code right here, just add your phone number. And when they tap call now, this will actually drive phone calls for your business. So this can work great, you know, everything from realtors to local gyms, beauty salons. So this can work well for pretty much any type of business right here that you're doing lead generation for. So Facebook call ads are live, it's right here. You just have Facebook call ads right here. This is set to the lead goal. So this is helping you really focus on driving leads uh, for all of your customers and your own business. The other feature that we launched is helping you charge a percent of ad spend. So how this is working is that the percent of ad spend feature is on the clients tab right here. You'll see the multiple options right here for charge a percent of ad spend. If you do it on this default workspace level, this is like the global settings. So this, you can set a percentage, a markup percentage at the global level, or you can edit it each individually per client as well. So how this can work is that let's say we want to do like a 20% markup. So how this is working is that let's say your clients spend a hundred dollars. When we do the markup, the whole reporting in the entire app and your whole white label tool will be $120 spend. So that's if their, their ad spend is a hundred dollars the whole app and everything would be reporting $120. So that's going to impact the cost per lead reporting, the uh, cost per click reporting and everything. So this is kind of how the markup option works. So you can add your markup percentage right here. So let's say you do 20% is how much you want to charge on the overall ad spend. So you can tap save right here. Markup update successfully. Now, when we go in here into the home tab, and we turn this adjusted button on. So you'll see different adjusted buttons on throughout the app, but this is actually like required for us to show both options. If you turn on this adjusted option right here, you'll see the percentage increase in the ad spend right here. For example, if I come in and view an individual ad results, you'll also see this adjusted option right here. So you'll see the cost per click increase, the spend and everything. So what we're doing is that we're also going to be showing this in the client's reporting dashboard tab. So you'll see, you know, same thing here. If I turn adjust it on, we'll see the spend and everything right here. So let me switch this over to spend and turn adjust it on. Now by doing this, everything will be increased right here. And very soon we'll be giving you the option to just generate an invoice for this amount that you could just send over to clients. But right now it's, it's really just focusing on reporting and showing you these numbers in the dashboard, which is something that Google and Facebook and these other ad platforms, they just don't do right now. So this is kind of how it works. And in the future, what we'll do is we'll have an option for you to actually generate the invoice for the amount that you could send over to clients based on their ad spend. If you want to charge them a percent of ad spend. The other feature that we recently launched is just including targeting in your templates. So on the advertise tab, this is where you actually launch your ads. You can include targeting and everything. We just listened to all your feedback and you also wanted to include the targeting with your ad templates, which is a great idea. So now what you can do is that you can have this as an option. This is just optional. You don't have to have targeting when you share out your templates. Now you can include your Google targeting, your Facebook targeting, and, and any other targeting that you want to share with your ad templates. So your clients can launch ads even faster. So this is already here. Again, this is going to be in the creative hub where you create your templates and it's just an option for you. If you want to include targeting with your templates, you can do that. So these are some awesome features for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more.